Let's talk minimal, chic, transitional season style that is anything but boring. I have a week's worth of outfit ideas to share with you in this video and I'm going to have all the outfit details down in the description box below but to me these have a really nice injection of colour and it's also the interesting silhouettes and shapes that make me feel really drawn to these outfits and I really hope that you're going to get a bit of inspiration from these looks. Like many of them are very easy to recreate with what you already have in your closet. I'm really excited to be partnering with Majuri on this video who's jewelry I've been wearing for close to a decade now. They have just recently launched their Pyra collection which is full of bold geometric shapes which to me are just so visually interesting and they kind of do all the talking. Really you can wear these pieces and opt for a really minimal outfit and feel perfectly styled and that's one of the things I love about their jewelry pieces but despite the geometric nature of the shapes and that kind of bold fieriness to them they don't feel like things that are going Going to date as in if you wore these items in 10 years they're still going to look utterly chic so I do have some new pieces from the collection that I want to share with you and then you're going to see them featured throughout every single outfit so first of all we've got the texture band which I love because it's got this slight weightiness to it and it is really nice and bold it's kind of that statement ring and it's sort of the only statement ring that you need so this comes in the gold vermeil which I'm wearing and if you're not familiar with vermeil this is sterling silver which is then plated with gold and it also comes in a 14 karat gold version as well if you want to really invest in your jewelry and I think with something like this that is a really beautiful way to kind of have this lovely signature piece in your collection also within the Vermeil collection we have the triangle hoops which I have in the medium size and I really like the angular nature of these and they're quite large actually even in the medium so you can imagine the large ones are going to be even more of a statement Next to that, I have the 14K Huggies, and these have that same textured element as the ring that I showed you just before. Being in the 14 karat gold means you can just leave them in, you don't have to worry about them at all, you can wear them in the shower, which is beautiful. I just think these are so sweet, they're a little bit bold, and they hug the earlobe so nicely. And then the other piece I have to share from the new Pyra collection is the Link Necklace, and this features two hoops, one in black onyx, and then one in the gold vermeil, at least on mine, but you can also get it in silver as well if you would prefer. I really like the length of the chain on this because it actually comes down quite low. I feel like if you are wearing more of a deep open neckline it's a really nice way to frame your chest and create a little bit of a visual draw point. And one of the reasons why I always go back to Majuri for jewelry is that they have not only those really nice simple timeless designs but they also have things that have a little bit more personality and I think the Pyra collection really leans in on that and a beautiful way and I love these bold shapes like I'm so excited to wear these and to continue wearing them every single day so you're going to be seeing a lot of them in the future. Uh, I do find that all of their pieces have been really high quality. I mean I still have my loop earrings which I co-designed with them all those years ago so almost a decade ago and they're still going strong even today which is really testament to the brand. I will be sure to link all of these pieces down in the description box below along with a link to the full Pyra collection so you can check out the rest of the range and if you do shop with any of these links it will get you 10% off your first order from Majuri as well so a great opportunity to save especially if you've been eyeing up a few pieces now I want to get into the styling element of this video so what I'm going to do is start putting on these outfits and talking you through each one. Now I kind of wanted to start off strong with an outfit that really inspired me and might be something that feels a little bit surprising to you because of how bold it is but to me it really felt like it captured the elements of Majuri's pirate collection. So I've gone for red on red and I absolutely love this. As someone who does have a naturally darker colouring and an olive complexion these sorts of colours really make my features shine and there's a reason why I personally am really drawn to them. This merino cardigan is really beautiful because it has these lovely little pearl buttons and you can kind of see that there are little gaps in between where each button fastens and it gives this little peekaboo effect which I think is really sweet and it's quite nice to wear it with just a little bralette underneath and some skin showing and that's what I've done here. I've worn it open and it kind of allows the shape of the cardigan to flow over my hips which are slightly wider. The skirt is where I've added in some print and it also has a really fun playful hemline to kind of bring things back and kind of tie it to my own 
personal style I've opted for that ballerina flat this kind of gives the whole outfit a little bit more of a Parisian edge and then for the spring touch I've opted for my white bag and the braided leather here you can really see the Majuri pieces shine those earrings are just so bold and vibrant and they kind of seem quite playful when paired with this full red look as well as this beautiful necklace which pairs really perfectly with things like a low-cut cardigan as a neckline really highlights the dainty jewels I wore this outfit to lunch recently and I felt effortlessly chic and it is a look that I plan on repeating and replicating many times throughout spring at least as long as I can continue to wear a blazer so it's a really simple column of color opting for all black which is really nice and elongating it makes me look taller than I am I have on a really nice grounding pair of shoes which are a wider sandal something that has really thick robust straps that I feel marry well with the wider straight leg style of the trouser. For that nice little colour pop I've opted for a cerulean blue bag which has this really nice chunky hardware to it and I feel like the hardware on the bag really complements the bolder shapes of the pirate collection and I mean I really like the fact that when you are wearing all black and especially if you've got high contrast features like myself the gold of the earrings just kind of pops right out at you and having that really beautiful detail where the neckline is framed so nicely with the necklace and kind of tying in the colours as well with that little black onyx detail there too. A really great way to wear brighter colours in your wardrobe is to ground them with neutrals and it's one of the reasons why I really love a pairing of a graphic red and white striped top like this with the camel pants. It just feels really easy and it kind of feels almost a little bit more subtle in a way but still having that kind of louder tendency. Now on my feet I have gone with a black sandal and then I've also opted for the straw bag with that natural texture and a great thing to kind of keep in mind if you are sticking to the three color rule is that you can have a fourth color technically if black and white are two of the shades that are included within your outfit. Another really nice thing to think about is the way your clothing is structured. So you can kind of see that my top has a little bit of a billowy shape to it. It's quite soft and malleable and then the trousers have a bit more structure and I quite like the way that they pair together. It's almost that soft and hard and again sort of highlighting the beautiful Majuri jewelry as well which I think just works really nicely to balance out the elements in this outfit. This outfit feels like my sunshine happy colors, bright white with a soft butter yellow. To me, perfect combination for sort of spring transitional season, even if you're just kind of edging towards autumn. And I have these lovely linen trousers on and the thing I really like about these is how leg lengthening they are. They make me feel and look like I'm a lot taller than I am and being that linen fabrication, they're really nice and chill. To dress things up, I've opted for this really kind of structured off the shoulder long sleeved top, which I think feels really elegant and it kind Kind of has this more refined quality to it that linen tends to lack. It also feels like a really natural option to pair with the Majuri jewellery as well which I do feel leans a little bit more elegant refined. It is bold and it does have that really nice structured component to it which is something that you can see in the top too. And I have to say I really like the way the necklace just dangles down and kind of lays over the top ever so slightly. Now to help everything else feel really cohesive I decided to opt for a really neutral palette overall so no loud accessories this time around so I've gone for some white sandals and a white bag and one of my easy tips for when you're not sure how to style an outfit when it comes to your accessories is to go for matching items that means it's one less element to consider and it also helps you to reduce your color palette as we all know opting for three colors at a maximum tends to be a really nice way to create a seamless outfit that is visually appealing and the eye settles on really nicely okay so here's another way that I am grounding out those brights with neutrals in my wardrobe so the pop here being not only the red on my lips but also the bright red bag and as you can see I feel like I'm really championing the fact that red and camel are a match made in heaven they just work so harmoniously together and I've opted to go for shades off so the dress that I'm wearing is this light buttercream color and it does have that little touch of camel to it so it feels like a continuation of the color scheme and again the shoes being in a very similar shade to my dress 
all very tonal, all working within that same colour family that really aims to help highlight the bag, which is kind of that loud element in the outfit. And you can kind of see here when I am holding the bag, you get a really good glimpse of the ring from the Pirate Collection, which I just love for that geometric shape and how kind of bold it is. It's really nice and chunky and it feels ever so slightly weighty as well in that really good way. For this next outfit, I've really opted to go for those neutrals with a touch of blue. As you have seen, I'm really enjoying this soft blue shade for the springtime or at least the transitional season in general. And I think it juxtaposes really nicely with the vibrancy of the red that I've got on my nails and also just the bold elements of the Majuri jewelry. So I have this really interesting top which has a number of asymmetrical details. Not only is it off the shoulder, but it also fastens across the body, which I really like because it adds in this element of visual interest, especially with that split hem detail. And I've chosen to wear that loose. I like the way that the top and the skirt almost melt into each other, creating this really beautiful long and lean line. And the eye is drawn down nicely to the pop of blue at the feet. There's a continuation of textures in my accessories. So my shoes have this raffia effect, as does the bag that I've chosen. And also just going back to the top, I love that it has long sleeves because it really aims to highlight any accessories that I'm wearing on my fingers. So that really beautiful bold pyro ring. I really love playing around with the items that I already own and figuring out different ways to style them and this outfit really leaned in on that because I've got this vest here which quite often I will wear fastened almost like a bit of a top but here what I've done is I've actually fastened it at the back so that I could reveal a little bit of the inner lining which is this beautiful rich tobacco shade because I've got this really nice long lean line it just adds this really nice little flourish now you know one of my favorite tricks is going for a full tonal outfit and I find it is just a really simple way to look and feel put together I've also thrown over a trench coat for a layering element. Now it is actually pretty hot as I'm filming this so I probably wouldn't be wearing the trench today but a really good way to add in that third or in my case fourth piece especially if it is a little bit cooler. I've actually pulled my hair back entirely and the reason why is because I wanted to have more of an elegant feminine feel especially which you can see reflected in the shoe choice that I've opted for as well. It also acts as a really nice way to highlight the geometric shapes of the earrings and make them a bit more of a focal piece. And another thing about this top I really just love the way that it frames the chest which creates a really nice resting point for the necklace. Then for that little colour pop which I felt like I was craving with this outfit, a bright tomato red bag. Absolutely love the way that this one came out. So there you have it, a week's worth of transitional style outfits that are really minimal and chic, but feel elevated and really kind of vibrant and exciting. I think it's that injection of color, the boldness that really was inspired by this Majuri Pirate Collection, which I am just loving so much. As mentioned, I will have my links down below in the description box for everything that I shared. And if you do decide to buy anything from Majuri, using one of my links, you will get 10% off your first purchase. Thank you so much for watching and for speaking spending some of your day with me. I'm always so grateful. And if you want to see more styling videos, more styling advice from me, then I would love for you to subscribe. I will see you soon with another video. I hope you have the most beautiful week ahead. See you soon. Bye.